Down syndrome is formally called trisomy 21. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, 46 total. But people who have Down syndrome have three chromosome 21s, hence trisomy. Tri meaning three, and somi from some in chromosome. If three is the anomaly and two is the norm, then the opposite we could say would be one. So monosomy 21 might be the opposite of Down syndrome, but there's a problem. Down syndrome is the most common chromosomal anomaly in live births. A full deletion of chromosome 21 doesn't result in a live birth. Cells can't stably divide while missing an entire chromosome 21, except in some cases, they can. Sometimes a mom only has 45 chromosomes and the one that she's missing is chromosome 21, but she's totally healthy and fine. How does that happen? Well, her missing chromosome 21 is still there. It's just attached to chromosome 14. This is called a translocation. The genetic material is there, fully intact. It's just in the wrong place, but it still works. But when mom wants to pass her genes down, baby might get the translocated chromosome plus the normal two copies of 21, functionally having trisomy 21. But there's one full monosomy that results in a live birth, and that's the deletion of one X chromosome. This is called Turner syndrome. All the patients who have this are women. Numerically, this is the opposite direction of Down syndrome, but there's nothing in the physical expression here that's related to or opposite of Down syndrome. So this question has a numerical answer, but no biological answer at all. And this brings up a bigger idea. In medicine, numbers only serve as a guide. In this case, a guide into our inquiry on chromosomal anomalies. While we can answer this question from this one angle, and we can answer the question, how does trisomy 21 happen? The question from families and patients who have Down syndrome that we may never be able to answer is when they ask, why did it happen to me?